Martin. There was a time when Dens Park would be full to the gunnels for both domestic and European football. Those days, however, are long gone, and Ivano Benetti's cosmopolitan side can only look on with envy at Scottish clubs and UEFA competitions in midweek. There is, however, a feeling that good days could be ahead for the Ds. The problem, though, is the Dark Blues are very much a Jekyll and Hyde outfit. Magical one minute, so out of touch the next. The question today is which Dundee side will turn up to face Aberdeen. Will Dundee make two changes to the side that won last week at Kilmarnock? Nimzadzi's in for Robertson, and Walter Del Rio returns after suspension at the expense of Bido Garrido. It's rare in our game to highlight the talents of a good traditional Scottish player, but Barry Smith is one such man. The Dundee captain celebrates his 200th appearance for the Blues today, and I think the best words to sum him up, dependable and reliable since his move to the North East six years ago. Aberdeen lost out to Celtic last week, not altogether unexpected, but they make two changes. Roberto Bisconti replaces Fergus Tierman, and Ben Thornley comes in for the injured Jamie McAllister. In the Aberdeen side today may well be a big star of the future. Wearing red but hailing from Dundee is Kevin McNaughton. He's still only 19 years old, but don't let that fool you. Aberdeen manager Eb Skovdal rates this man as highly as Brian Loudrup in his early days at Bronby. High praise indeed for a young man who looks comfortable in defence or midfield. It's UEFA fair play weekend, so the man in the middle shouldn't have too much to do. I don't know if referee John Underhill from Edinburgh will agree, but we'll just have to wait and see what develops this afternoon. Aberdeen get this match underway and immediately trying to launch an attack and Kishnashvili up challenging, Zero Ali. An early threat and an early corner for the visitors. A defeat in any match is always hard to take but Aberdeen last week gave a good account of themselves against Celtic. Ben Thornley committing himself with Jimmy Langfield and eventually the danger cleared away and it goes again Ooh, just almost past Langfield there you could see exactly what Kiznasvili was trying to do into the danger area once again just making sure the pass back allowing the keeper to handle Nimzadzi Miranza laying it off into Romano and again, the South Americans link up. Here's Caballero, can he finish it? Nice play again, Fabian Caballero. Really is one of the danger men. Just couldn't get on the end of it. Nice play by Dundee. Gavin Ray now thinking about hitting this one. You can't blame him, he scored last week against Kilmarnock, got a winning goal and from that sort of distance that's well worth the pot from Gavin Ray. Could be the future of Scotland in the midfield. And he had the edge over Aberdeen last season. Two wins and one draw here at Dens Park. But certainly the most significant of those matches was the final game before the split of the SPL and Dundee ran out 2-0 winners on that occasion. It's comfortable enough, oh he's made a mistake, Jamie Langfield, well that really will not do his confidence any good. A real slip there, it has to be said there's been a bit of rain in Dundee but we wouldn't expect him to drop that one. We'll have to try and curtail Dundee here, Gavin Ray, a lovely ball, now can Romano get the better of Two defenders, McNaughton and Thornley. Smith trying to whip it in too high for Stephen Mill. Barry Smith. And the ball eventually does break to him. It required a bit of cross. But too much height and eventually all the way to the back. And Ryan Essen happy to see it go. Thornley. That was the best option but Mackey has it now plays it quickly to Darren Young switches the play intelligently Solberg Maguire Dundee trying to come out Smith gets the header Donnelly you know he can certainly hit them he's thinking about it now driving it in there oh it's broke to Zeno Ali there's the goal Aberdeen have the lead 25 minutes gone and one of the heroes of the Don's fans puts them ahead. 
that was all down to Ben Thornley. He scored a couple of goals against Kilmarnock up at Pataudry, but on that occasion, Langfield slipped Zero Ali to his advantage, put the ball in the back of the net. Good play again by Thornley, looking up, he knew he was thinking about the shot, and it deceived the Dundee goalkeeper. It didn't deceive Zero Ali, and Aberdeen have the lead. Caught out again. Thinking no chances, more a clearance than anything else. Now Aberdeen with a chance to increase their advantage. And once again, the tactic: five Aberdeen players going round, looking to get on the end of it. McGuire with a free header. Obviously, a tactic adopted from the training ground, five of them on the edge of the box, then moving in quickly, and Philip Maguire couldn't keep it down. Zero Ali. Mackey. Zero Ali did well, just letting the ball drop. He's looking for the free kick. Referee not in any way filled in a chance now. Here's Caballero now, can he finish this off and get them back on level? Tell him, stand his arms This man has skill in abundance and you never tire of seeing goals like this. Going through, you wondered what he was going to do and he just flicks it up over Ryan Essen. Absolutely superb. No wonder he's revered at Dens Park. Simply sensational, look at that finish. 1-1. Well, I'll tell you, I've talked about Kijnashvili and the problems he's having, but Roberto Visconti is a lucky man. Morocco coming away, and once again, the timing is all wrong, and he's lucky not to be sent off. Now here come Dundee again, Carranza, can he get the cross in, he's going all the way himself, it's managing to break out to me, oh, it's there, oh, it's just gone wide! Great play again, Beto Carranza showing his skill, heading towards the byline, but they did get a rather fortuitous break of the ball, Milne just couldn't drag it from underneath his foot, and the save from Ryan Essen. Here's Caballero, driving this one in! Oh, what a save by Essen, I don't think he knew too much about it, to be fair to him. And he's only been drafted in between the sticks at the expense of David Priest. But when Caballero picked the ball up, driving in, you knew he had a shot in mind, and the power just parried away by Essen. And Zadze, picking out Carranza. And again, picking out Milne, beautiful ball by Carranza, that looked as if it was a handball, and the referee has picked up on it. Oh, he's in trouble now, what is Philip Maguire doing? What is he doing? Well, he gets a yellow card, and he's a lucky man. He's given away the free kick, once again Carranza picking out Stephen Milne, piercing the Aberdeen defence, and well, it's strange that Philip Maguire, he did handle the ball and then this little bit of petulance here, he's a lucky man, he's only getting a yellow card. Approaching half-time, McNaughton. Referee John Underhill ends the first half, and it's a first half which belongs to two foreign imports, and the first of them, Zero Ali for Aberdeen, who benefited really from a drive from Ben Thornley, shaping up for the shot. Langfield couldn't hold it, Zero Ali took full advantage and gave Aberdeen the lead, but the equalising goal was majestic to say the least. Fabian Caballero put through, we were wondering whether he was going to take it round the goalkeeper. He was having none of it, the Argentinian just scooped the ball up over the goalkeeper into the back of the net and brought Dens Park to his feet, a worthy equalising goal. You'd pay to see it any day of the week. And here at Dens Park at half-time, 
It's Dundee 1, Aberdeen 1.